Hi, Smartsheet Guru here. I've been doing some consulting and I wanted to show an example of what you can do in Smartsheet. What I'm going to show is inspired by a project I did for my clients. And what it does is it uses an intake form to um, assign a bonus or a bonus deduction to a certain employee and then it keeps track of the net bonus amount that each employee has earned and on the dashboard it breaks down the total bonus amount by employee it shows the bonuses earned by month and it breaks it down uh, on the stack chart by employee. And it also has a pie chart showing the types of bonuses that have been earned and the percentage of each one. So in my form here, um, I made this form, I put my logo in. Uh, this is something that uh, you can do in Smartsheet now forms is you can put your logo and your title, you can change the background to your company or organization colors. And so in this form, uh, there's only two questions shown, but I have some conditional logic. And you'll see that. So let's say uh, John Smith earned a bonus. And when I select bonus, it shows all fields relevant to the bonus. And so we'll say he had a client referral and he earned it in April. Let's say it got paid out. Um, yeah, we'll say it got paid out in May 1st. Okay. So we submit that. And this form is set up to um, refresh and be set up for a new entry. Okay. So if we go to the dashboard, we refresh this. See that John Smith's bar grew some, and you can see this pie chart has changed. Uh, previously, the client referral was 50%, and now there's, uh, I'm sorry, the client referral was 40%, and now it's 50% since we added an additional one. And we can see that uh, John has now earned $50 total in April in bonuses. We go back to our form. Let's say a Smartsheet Guru has a deduction. Um, when when I choose uh, this um, deduction type, um, nothing else shows here because I'll show you in the intake sheet. Uh, this deduction type actually references a uh, summary field for the calculation. But if I were to choose miscellaneous, it asks a couple more questions about you know, description of the deduction. Let's say computer damage and the amount. And put $100. Submit that. Okay. So again, we come to our dashboard. And you can see now I have a, a negative net amount. And it didn't affect the pie chart because it was a deduction. A deduction not a bonus okay so in our intake sheet here you can see these last two entries that I made during the video are populated here and what I was talking about with the sheet summary is that I have various bonus amounts and a deduction amount here and so these can be changed at any time without having to update these formulas. And I can just show you here, if, if I were to change uh, this bonus type to extra hours, the bonus amount here automatically changes to 100 to match here. And similarly, if we were to change this to 150, you can see this, all the 
um, bonus types of extra hours have changed to 150. So this, this makes it easier, you know, in the future, if you want to change these amounts, you don't have to go into the formulas and change them. You can just change them here in the sheet summary. And same with the deduction. I only have one type of deduction, um, but there is the miscellaneous type where you can enter in your own amount. So. And to do this dashboard, um, I've used a couple different ways to generate these metrics um, for the total bonuses and the bonuses by type. I used uh, reports and then use reports, leverage the grouping and summary uh, features of the report. Same with the bonus type. I have a group by bonus type, and then it counts the amount in each type. And that translates into these charts that you see here. The second way um, that I generated metrics for this dashboard for this chart, uh, bonuses earned by month, I actually used a metric sheet here to create this matrix table um, by employee and by month. And that allows me to create the stack chart. So this is an example of how you can, uh, and you can, oh, as I'm talking here, I have the dashboard set to auto refresh. So, um, that's why it, it, it refreshed here while I was talking. Okay, so I wanted to show an example of how you can start with a form, uh, have the data go into some uh, into a sheet, run some reports and calculate some metrics, and then generate the dashboard. All right, thank you for watching. Um, if you're interested in working with Smartsheet Guru, you can go to my website, smartsheetguru.com. And if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.